I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. as much as life. search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Let's go! What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. Keep prayers at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Mm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Come on.
What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. I'll be back. Mm. You and the sorceress both. <laughs> we'll fix you, thing. Don't you? Think together. Cut the horse under the head. of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer in the beard. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker!
That's it, Roach. search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Can it get any worse? It was him always all the corpses. Aye, he did. Ow! Tis a dog's mouth. Armed in town. Scandalous. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Celise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Keratin a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little dots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you.
lads. Take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him, we were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. The end positioned as a sniper lost her nerve, hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story to silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. <laughs> Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. Been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Want to talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert.
sorcerer's scowl. And the sorcerer's blood on everything in its And whosoever contributes coin to the cause, his sin shall be forgiven. Scandalous. Letting such miscreants into the city. It's the material world. Another material world. Like imp shit in your stupid tramp. man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the young woman. We'll stick together. It'll all work out. did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jins are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jin, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a Jin? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Know where to look? For the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? Yeah, why not? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Deathly ill, they say. When he knew the time had come, he went into the mountains. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation.
The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Nice. Alright, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I'm not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Gandalion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Esad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? Jump in, see for yourself. Seawater wreaks havoc on my complexion. Going. Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck and a cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks. And a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. the leads take us. Say we find the djinn. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the djinn? Have we moved on to the talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Wreck. 
Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Got something. Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Don't ask, Clan. Donor was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buck. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. You can see what it is. something something doesn't do it justice a huge crater as if a meteorite landed here i must see it diving in after all no i shall cast another spell to see through your eyes now relax i see fortia bedem ein eichter elevate that is no meteorite crater what is it then the effect of teleportation I soon fall to a bedem and I can elevate. Basket exactly in half. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up.
Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True. But after the fact, I want to know now. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another, or if we'll be like two strangers. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to... Nothing interesting. Nothing here. shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Wonder what this means. Mage must have slept here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing here. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. 
If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. A bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rip kaishta en gaio. Kaishta et displer. Givered me castle. over yes it's all over maybe we should sit you look a bit dazed I'm not but we can sit we've improved last time we tamed a gin we destroyed half of rind Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this was about from the start. Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change after the Jinn removed the spell. Has it? Has anything changed? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Sorry, Yen, but... magic's gone for me. Truly? But... How is that possible? I still feel the same. You should too. I don't understand. What does this mean? Means the Jinn granted your wish. Right. Fine. Good. Glad we got that over with. 
We know where we stand, at least. Naught left for us here. Let's go. Wait. Magic's gone, true, but that doesn't mean I don't like spending time with you. Let's sit a while. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. Yen, what happened back there? Please, Geralt. There's nothing left to say. I'm off. Me too. I'll collect Uma from the Baron, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. Farewell. So long, Yen.